Hi Cheeksters, hi YouTube, hope you're having a wonderful day. <laughs> Today's video, as the title says, is going to be my summer date night lookbook. You can use these outfit inspirations for now or save them for later. If we haven't met yet, my name is Chi Chi and on this channel I cover fashion, beauty, and lifestyle. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, then without further ado, keep on watching. I have a confession to make. Please don't come for me. Here's the thing. I don't really like bodycon dresses. They just do the most, okay? It just requires too much effort. However, there are occasions where you need a good freakum dress. I decided to pair the dress with, with these really old, actually, um, fur heeled sandals. You could totally do a, a mule with this dress. And then to finish off the whole vibe, I went with my quilted flap. You can do a clutch if you would prefer. If I'm gonna do bodycon, I'm going to look for bodycon dresses with flattering qualities. There's so many things that really work on this dress between the sweetheart neckline, the puffs oversized sleeves, and the ruching. It really helps to create a vertical line that's very elongating. This next look, I would say is perfect for a brunch date. I'm pairing this um, cream milk made style top with these city length shorts. Now, if you're like me and you're a little bit on the hippier side, I highly recommend a city length short. They're a little bit longer and you know, they're just a little bit more flattering on the leg. You could do a pair of slides with this look, but because we're doing a date look, I went with my red wraparound pumps. Something about that extra wraparound feature, just very sexy. And then to finish this off, since this is a summer date look, I went for my faux leather bag. Let me know in the comments below what you think about this look. Would you wear it? Yes. No. This look is perfect for a movie date or in these times, a trip to your favorite restaurant to pick out takeout and home to watch a show on Netflix, okay? I wanted to do a little bit more than just like a regular t-shirt because you know, this is daytime with the boo and you want to make a little bit of an effort. So I went with this corset style top um, that I've had for a little bit from Pretty Little Thing. I decided to dress it down by tucking it into these distressed jeans. And then to finish things off, because it's probably later in the evening, I threw on this pink longline moto jacket. Add a pair of sneakers and you are ready. I mean, these days you have to dress up for any occasion, okay? Wear the clothes in your closet. So here you have a cute outfit that you can wear to pick out, take out on your next date night. So if you're not a stranger to my channel, you probably remember this dress. I think I've had it for like four years. Everyone just needs a wrap dress. This is a must have, no matter what your shape is, because it is truly one of the most flattering silhouettes you have out there. I highly recommend a wrap dress. This one I've had, like I said, for a couple of years now, and I'm pretty sure I paid no more than $25 for it. And I'll definitely link some really affordable wrap dress options for you guys. The only thing I really do to update it is to pair it, pair it with more on-trend accessories. So in this instance, I chose to pair it with my square-toed white wrap sandals. Squares, square toes are super in for this year. And that was my way to kind of bring it into um, 2020. If you do not have a wrap dress, what are you waiting for? Pause this video and open up the description box. They're super easy to style. You pair them with sneakers, pair them with heels. They're also really flattering and most of all, they're comfortable. And they're perfect for a date because all you have to do is pull one string, okay, and your dress is off. So 
So this next outfit is the goat of date nights, okay? Especially if you are a mom, a new mom, it's so easy. Like you can replicate this uniform over and over again. And it seems like you did a lot of work, but you really didn't. And that is the cute top in jeans and heels outfit. So I just paired my favorite pair of distressed jeans. These are like um, a 90s style straight cut. I paired it with this lace. I guess you can call this a lace top. I've had it for a couple of years. It's from Simply B. I decided to tuck it in to make it look a little bit more sophisticated. I finished off the look with a pair of snakeskin pumps, which you guys have seen me rock a million times. And for accessories, I actually um, bummed this watch off my mom. <laughs> but I just paired it with a chunky link bracelet and a few other tchotchkes. So this next look, I don't really know what I was going for here. Maybe dinner by the harbor or the beach if you live in a coastal um, community. But I pretty much just pulled out this um, wrap front crop top that I picked up last year from ASOS. I paired it with a slip skirt. I mean, you guys know how I feel about slip skirts. Like, so don't be, don't be surprised if you see a slip skirt in every single lookbook I make in 2020. And then for shoes, I went with my square toed boot sandals. They're super comfortable. I like the fact that they have a low heel. I pulled out the Lilith bag again. I just love how the colors of the bag pairs really well with the sandals and I dare say the top. And of course I decided to layer a couple of necklaces because I really wanted the eye to be drawn towards, you know, the style of the top, the shape of the top. I think it's always a good idea to wear clothes that you feel comfortable on when you go on a date with you're a little bit more in the moment. It definitely affects the mood of the date. If you enjoyed this video and you're looking for more outfit ideas, check out this video. If you're looking to level up your style this year, make sure you check out this video. Follow me on socials for even more outfit inspiration. Rate, comment, subscribe, and until next time, stay blessed.